Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is gonna be the tutorial where I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use high dynamic range or HDR in Vegas Pro 17. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say let's get started right after the intro. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 17, basically, if you guys don't understand yet what HDR is, it stands for High Dynamic Range. High Dynamic Range or HDR is a technique used in imaging and photography to reproduce a greater dynamic range of luminosity than what is possible with standard digital imaging or, or photographic techniques. So before we get into this, I would like to give you guys a little introduction to uh, Gary Ripholz. He's actually one of the people that also created Vegas Pro 17, and he has a really, really great approach. Approach, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what HDR is all about. So Gary Rappels, take it away. Vegas Pro continues to lead the way in working in high dynamic range color with support for both HDR10 and HLG formats and working in the ACES 1.1 color space from the beginning of the process to the final delivery. Setting your project up for HDR is as simple as choosing the format you want to work in from the drop down list in the project properties box. Vegas Pro sets everything appropriately, but naturally you are completely free to customize your settings to suit your particular needs or style. You can also customize your settings to match your HDR hardware, and if you change the default settings, you can save custom presets so that setting up the next project is even easier and faster. Editing in HDR feels just like editing any other footage. All of the same tools give you all the same editing power as ever. Of course, HDR is all about color, so the color grading panel and the video scopes are HDR compatible, right down to applying custom LUTs and even creating your own LUTs that you can apply to future projects or other footage in your current project. Finally, you can deliver in both HDR10 and HLG formats. You can even upload your HDR projects directly to YouTube. YouTube recognizes it as HDR, and plays it back that way. So you can deliver true HDR directly to your viewers from your website or your YouTube channel. Vegas Pro takes HDR seriously so that you can seriously deliver HDR. All right, guys, so now that you know a little bit more about HDR and what it is, so like I've mentioned, you want to go to the project video properties tab and you want to make sure that you go to uh, HDR mode and you want to place that one to HDR 10. It's going to adjust all these settings depending on, on the mode that you pick right here. Uh, so once we picked HDR 10, we're going to click on OK. So let's go ahead and drag in a file right now. So then what we can do is we can also go to the project media tab right here and you want to right click on the thumbnail of this image, go to properties and right here you have the color space. Now you want to also pick the one depending on which one you're editing. For example, a Canon log, rad footage from like these really, really huge, expensive, high quality cameras. So we all have kinds of log files. So we have Sony. So you want to basically pick one, pick this one, uh, depending on which device that you shot your uh, footage with. For example, pick this one. Let's click on OK. And now you're basically ready to actually produce your videos the right way with like high dynamic range. There's a new feature in Vegas Pro 17. I'm going to give you guys a little backstory and I'm going to also show you guys a tutorial from Gary Rappoltz that's gonna make it under because he explains it way way better than me so let's go ahead and check out this little clip the video scopes window opens by default when you open the color grading panel so click the color grading button now if you previously modified this mode and the video scopes do not open choose view windows video scopes to open them in the video scopes click the settings button click the enable st.2084 HDR scope checkbox and the 10-bit scale checkbox to activate those features. Click OK. These settings will be ignored if you switch back to a non-HDR project. Once you are ready to deliver your video, choose File, Render As. 
The Render As Format list is filtered to just those formats that support HDR. Select the format you want to render to and one of the HDR10 or HLG render templates. Then follow the normal procedure for saving your rendered file. When you've made all of your choices, click the Render button. You can also deliver your HDR project directly to your YouTube channel, and YouTube will show your movie in HDR. To export your project directly to YouTube, choose File, Share Online, Upload to YouTube. Select the HDR radio button. Click the HDR drop-down list and choose either HDR10 or HLG from the list. Click the Upload button and follow the prompts from there. All right, so the last thing that you can do is you can open up the video scopes. So you want to just press Alt G on your keyboard. That's gonna bring up these markers at the bottom. So right here we have the settings button. You wanna also click that. And you want to make sure that you will click on enable ST2084 HDR scope. And you wanna make sure that that one is checked. So then we're gonna click on okay. And then you can basically uh, start like coloring and do your normal color grading presets. You can also import LUT filters uh, right here if you click on browse you can just open up these lock filters and you can you, you want to open up the file location load them in and then you can just go ahead and start uh, using these lot filters but what you can also do is using these gamma to gain the offset and the lift and that's basically how you can adjust these colors and make it really really cinematic so guys if you want to learn more and if you want to read everything just like on your own tempo make sure to check out the link in the description i will link to an article about the hdr support so guys that's it for this really short tutorial i'll catch you guys obviously on next week with brand new videos have a great weekend and i'll see you guys in my next